Please retain your stub, sir. everyone, this is part 47 of the Holden GDR XU1 restoration. In this episode, we're going to be preparing panels ready for reassembly on the Holden Tirana. So what I'm doing today is, as I said, I'm preparing these panels. I'm knocking them all back with 400, so they're ready to go on. This will be the final rub on these panels before they're reassembled onto the car. And I want to get these really nice and any last little imperfections and marks I need out of these panels because the next thing, as I said, it'll go on the car and we don't want to have to come back to any bits and pieces to play with it. There'll be uh, a little bit of work, not a lot, just where that's getting welded on. And that section through there will be down on here on the skirt. That'll be welded right around there or plug welded right in on there and on the end of that rail. And that will be a final little touch up after the welding's been done. But everything else on that panel, it's ready to roll now for paint. We don't have to come back to it. And it's not going to be an awkward job now because you could just imagine, for instance, that's the stone tray there and you get down underneath that and it's right in underneath the car and you're trying to rub that like down on the ground basically. But the way I'm doing it here, I can do it off the car and it's nice and accessible and I don't have to bend down and even bend my back to do this. It's very simple, quick and easy, and I'll get a way, way better job with it off like this. So that's why I'm doing it, or going about this procedure this way. So that's where we're at. The next part of this is once it's all knocked back completely, we'll get it ready for the weld. We'll do some hole, drill some holes in this front of this rad support, ready to plug weld onto the skirts and rails. Welcome aboard if you're new to the channel, I'm Mick, and this behind me is the Holden Tirana GTR XU1 LJ 1972 model. In the last episode, I blocked back the engine bay and I got it all ready for some primer. Primed it again, I need to rub back the outer skirts and then I can put some Hydrotex on there, Roberlo, that's a stone chip protector, water base. 
these areas inside the engine bay, I'm going to drop the K-frame out and I'll rub that later. But first we want to get the radiator support on and the guards and tacked all in place. I'll put that product in the description below. You can click on the link and it'll take you to spray, blast and inspect. So on the outside, I don't have to be too fussy, just as long as it's all keyed up. And then I can spray my stone chip onto that. And I know that it's going to be keyed up correctly. Okay, we're just heading to Spray Blast and Inspect to get a few things. Dad's in his GDS and uh, <laughs> the VF GDS as we can see. Yeah, right. A little work chariot. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day here in Toowoomba. Look at that. Nice and cold. Sort of like Melbourne weather actually. Toowoomba's a bit funny, hey Pops? It can be like Melbourne. Yeah, it's a lot the same. I think it's because of where it's um, located up on that dividing range. And you get a like, in some days you can have four four seasons in the one day. It, but it, yeah, it's a lot like Melbourne actually. Okay, we've arrived here at SBI, Spray Blast and Inspect in Toowoomba. This is their main branch. This is like the, um, the head office, if you like, of their organization. And we like to come up, say good day to the guys, see what's happening, check out their latest range of product. They're real informative, real friendly real good people to deal with. Okay, we've just got back in the workshop and what I picked up was a seam sealer, a 3M one at Spray Blast and Inspect and that's a 550 FC and what I'll do is I'll put that in the description below.
Okay, so we've picked up the underbody protection spray gun from Spray Blast and Inspect as well. I'll use this to spray the stone chip protection and between them two products, it should be a really good finish. I'll put those products in the description below. Okay, so I've just used the Roberlo Stone Chip Protector, water-based, and you can see there, it's still looking a little bit blue here and there, and you can see when it's really wet, it's still blue, which is a good idea, but once it starts to dry, it starts to go black, and you get that really nice factory finish. But yeah, it really gives it that really, really nice factory look about it. So that's still drying. Come around the other side. Pops is still rubbing away. Yeah, having a ball. He's having a ball, he said. So this side's drying.
Okay, so I've got that rad support area all prepped up, ready the ends of those skirts and rails. I've done some uh, drill outs there, ready to plug weld that rad support on both sides. I've got it primed up with the weld through primer. You can see there the gold. So that's all ready to go. So now the next thing we want to do is put the car up on its wheels. We don't want to put that radiator support on until it's on its wheel so it's sitting correctly. So the next thing we'll do is we'll get the rad support on, we'll get it in position. I've got my little guide holes there and there, which will have a screw through the rad support pinned onto that so it can't move. Then when we're happy, we've got a little bit more uh, clean up to accept the welds on the radiator support. Then when it's in place and it's sitting correct, then we'll go ahead and weld it on. up around those uh, areas that I'm going to plug weld in there. I need that nice and clean so it cools in really nice with that primer. I want it all gone. That one's done. Got to do this one. Once that's cleaned up, ready to go on, we're going to pop that rad support on and weld it on. Okay, while Pops is getting that radiator support ready, I've been rubbing back the roof. I want to get it all rubbed and blocked back now. And then that's one less job we need to do. But that roof's coming up absolutely mint as. I'm really happy with that. It's nice and straight, and that's why we always use blocking in our hands to get it dead straight, and basically it comes down to feel to get it 100% right, and then obviously running your eye along it and making sure that it's dead straight. It's a massive part of these really, really nice paint jobs. It takes a lot of time, but it's worth it. That's coming up an absolute treat. I'm just blocking back the roof for the second time. And this is a really important part of the process as well. We want it to be nice and straight. So what I'm actually doing is, I'm rubbing out my highs and my lows. And then what that does is, it creates a nice generalized shape for the roof. And it looks dead straight when you run your eye down it. So we're not going to run our eye down the paint and it's gonna have highs and lows. We don't want that. It's very important now. This is one of those things that if I don't do a good enough job, You'll be able to see it and that's my fault and I haven't done a good enough job so I can't let that happen. So I need to make sure I'm blocking it out perfectly, otherwise my name's on it. So That's coming up really nice this time. I've got most of the highs and lows out and I've got just enough product on there now so I can get another coat of primer on there 
without having too much on there, which is quite important as well. But that Ultra Build Primer is absolutely excellent stuff to get straight. But that's coming up absolutely perfect now. So that's going to prime up really nice once I prime it up after this rub. I don't want to take too much more off it. If I was just here, I'm not going to keep rubbing in one spot. We want to cross over like this. I want to go that way, even, even. And then I want to do the same back this way. And then it's very even. Before I've gone and done that, I've actually rubbed all my high spots out. So I, I use my hand and I feel them. And I feel where it's high and when it's low. So that's really good now, I'm happy with that. And that's ready for its last prime. And then I can do my final rub, final block on that. And then that's ready for paint. We can move on to the quarter panels, but we have to fit those doors. So we'll keep moving on. Okay, the last few little bits before we sit this radiator support on. Pops is just cleaning up that epoxy primer so we can get a nice weld and nice penetration. Now that will marry up with the ends of the skirt and then we can plug weld the ends of the skirt in. And the reason why we, we like to plug weld these in is just for the strength. And um, it's, it is a structural part on the front of the car. So it's quite important. Okay, so the radiator support's just been sat on for the final time. So after this, after I position this with these little locating screws, and that's exactly where I wanted it to be, it will not be coming off again. It'll be getting welded on, which is a, a big plus for us now, because we can really start to, to move forward with this now. Get these in here so it won't move. It sat back in there absolutely perfectly the way it come off. A couple little clamps right on the end of the rails there. So that's got the top supported, it won't move around on me while I weld it. So now a couple little clamps down in here on the ends of the rails. Doesn't need a lot, it's just sitting in there nicely, there's no stress on it. I just don't want it to move. That's got that one there. And this little fella over on this side, as you can see they're only little clamps, it's not going to go anywhere. That rad supports just sitting in there perfect. There's no stress on it whatsoever. So just clamp that one on there like that. That's got him, that's all I need it to be. That's good enough. So now you can see everywhere I've been around and I've pre-drilled everything ready for plug weld. So I'll go right around the front there. Then I'll come up the edge of the skirt, right up through there. And then once we come on the inside, I can then go right around that rail. So I'll go across the top, down and in underneath. We'll do all that possibly up on the hoist jet. I'm not sure, we'll see how we go, but I'll repeat the same process over this side. But at the moment, couldn't ask for any better fit than that's gone on. And now you can see why I pre-rub everything. You haven't got the drama having to get in under the car now, all awkward spots. It's all done. All I'll do is these little touch-ups where I weld and dress up again, but everything else is done and that'll give all the rad support, all the engine bays all pre-rubbed. So it, it's all, we're already kind of got ahead of ourselves there with that work and it makes it way, way easy. You don't have to get in awkward spots. So I'll grab the welder and I'll go to town. I'll start to tack it on and, and make sure I'll just take me time. I don't want to pull any direction that it shouldn't. And um, that should go in a treat that now. So I'll jump into that.
Okay, so that's all done. Very important that that's plugged in and welded, super strong welds, because that's a, a very structural part of the car, especially front end, has to be super, super correct. So that's gone in the way it should, it's done. Now I've just got a little bit around the edge of these skirts to go, and then around the end of the rails, but the welding has gone absolutely a treat. Very, very, very well and truly penetrated. Um, right through, right into the back of that um, skirt area. It's super strong, as I said, and that's one thing you don't want to come off the car because that ties the whole front of your car together. So it's very crucial that it is right. But done, almost. A few more welds to go on the, on the end of this skirt, then I'll duck in under those rails and finish it off. It's nice to see that's coming off. Mate, I'll tell you what, <laughs> what a milestone after all the time. This has been in there since the very beginning of the build, this thing. It I feels good that that's, that's being removed. Mate, I certainly made sure that was welded. You sure did, Bob. It's bloody looking good now, though, and it's being nicely pulled out of there. Look at that. Ta-da. Wow, what a feeling. Oh, what a feeling. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, she's Gosh. out. So now we just got to... Get in there and give those little burrs that are left there where I had that welded in. But that that um, support's been in there, like I say, from almost the very start of this build. We should frame that, I think. <laughs> but yeah, she's gone now, so I can clean that up and actually you can get in there now and stand in there if you have to do any work. But yeah, really good feeling. We're really starting to move forward with it. It's fantastic. Okay, so we've got the rad support on, it's all welded on, and what we've done, we've had the welding across there and all the, around the edge of the skirts. We've gone, given it a quick lick right around there, all the welded areas with the blaster, just to take any little flaky or burnt pieces off. So we've done that on the front, on the internal part of the back of it there, both sides, and we've given it a little hit with some epoxy just to seal it up, so we'll let that cure for a day or two. And now what we've got to do, we've got this little filler panel it's going to get blasted as you can see it's got a bit of a um, film of rust there now but it fully needs a clean up and that fits across the front there between the grill and the front bar so we're going to blast that and we've also got the bonnet lock support it's um, fairly crusty all the old spray can paints just started to flake off it so we'll give that a quick blast and a prime and then we've got these little panels little filler panels or finishing panels they go up across the back of the, the hinges, you can see one there. They're the same deal. The old spray can finish is not so crash hot on them, so we'll blast all those, and we'll chuck all those little bits and pieces in the booth, and we'll get some uh, good old epoxy all over that, and that'll seal all that up, and then we'll come back and we'll finish playing with the front. But that's gone re really, really well at the front there. It's welded on, and it look, it'll look factory. We'll spot weld marks back right from front to back of it, and. Uh, Inside the rails, 
the way it's all gone back on. Once it's finished, you'll have a real hard time trying to see where it's been removed and replaced. So real happy at the moment, we're progressing on well. Okay, that's it for this episode. And Pops, what do you reckon? We've done well. We've got the radiator support panel welded on. It's all cleaned up, dressed up. Yep. We've got a little bit of primer to go around it, not a lot. And now we've jumped around to the back of the car and we're doing some prepping under the back of it. And Michael's touching up some um, spot welds that he's done in under there. Yeah, I'm just getting all the panels prepped up as well. But we'll show that in the next episode and we'll show just doing the spot weld marks and making it all look really nice and genuine under there. But that will be in the next episode. And what else do we achieve, Pops, in this one? More prepping on all the panels, getting yep. it ready for the final prime and paint. Yep, it's so, all, all that prep work's done. So I think for this episode, I think we'll call it quits. That's it, call it quits, and um, we just want to say thank you everyone for watching, and um, hey, it's been a long build, but it's quite enjoyable for us because we get to show you exactly what goes into these really big builds. We're trying to show as much as possible, and um, then you guys can enjoy it and get to see what's involved. Yep, all so. right. So on that note, I think we'll call it quits, and we better wind ourselves up ready for the next episode. Yep, sounds good, Pops, and catch us later, and thanks for watching. The Tirana Restoration Rebuild. Cheers, everyone. Hey, could this be the latest, greatest Tirana 6? Well, I thought I saw this car grooving by. It was moving real pretty right under my eye. And I said to myself, how'd they ever get on that singing to that nifty buddy? Man, it came on good, it came on strong. It was doing it easy, just zooming along. And I called out loud It's just gotta be the latest Toronto 6 I thought it was a mover but sure I'm a sinner You'd never move till you grooved in the rally winner And it's plain as can be Well, can't you see why Toronto 6 can't stop coming first? Yeah, it'll turn you on, it'll turn you round It's the only six sale that are compact in this big land And you gotta get it, right? Toronto 6, for sales chance When you're hot, you're hot